Mikey. So you got back safely. Yeah, thanks for the lift out of there. Least I can do for all the joy and pain you gave me in training. Just doing my job, providing support. We recover anything from the camp yet? Some records. Good job digging those out, by the way. Still sorting through it, but... But what? Well, I'm out of the loop on the data recovery. Westridge assigned the analysis to Mina and Parker. We'll see what they dig up. What, you can't check out the data? It was your op, too. Yeah, I know, huh? Apparently, it's not my job when I can chat with you over a headset instead. Whatever. Baldy and the Ice Queen should be able to get what you need. About the mission. Yeah, what? Is there a problem? No, I just thought you did a good job out there. Well, I admit I'd rather have been the one on that mission. But you're the one Westridge picked, and it's my job to back you up. But I was pretty impressed. You didn't need much help. And hey, maybe next time, you'll be on the headset. Let me know as soon as you find out anything, Darcy. All right, I'll be in touch, Mikey. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrator One. Hopefully you guys are liking it so far. It, trust me, the game opens up a lot more. It's going to get even more difficult. Uh, again, I know this game is a mixed bag for a lot of people, but this is exactly the type of game and the type of challenge that this channel is known for. So we're going to continue on, and we have got some new skills available to us. You can see we've opened up two more spots because we were full last time. So we're going to tape up the... I mean, we're already going to go ahead and do it. The Shadow. Now, unfortunately, we can't get the silent running duration for 30 seconds. That's pretty cool if you think about it. I actually want to know what the last one is here. Master. Triggered it if... Uh, I wonder how long that is. That's got to be like 20 seconds. Man, for 20... Oh, man. That, you could go through like the whole... Everything without getting caught. So that's pretty cool. Um, Alright, so we did that. We probably... I don't know if we want to buy anything else just yet because really they're not going to resilience uh, decrease delay before Mike starts to recover endurance CQC medical advanced sabotage binary probably going to go with this one yeah although pistols would be a good one too bonus damage of plus three but really do we need a bonus damage of plus three if we're always getting headshots anyways uh, we are eventually going to get it of course but I think I'm going to go with the binary invisibility let's take a look at it my camera auditory would normally spot mic and affords a brief moment brief, brief moment of invisibility from electronic sensors but not human enemies to either escape the sensor or deal with it in some other fashion so you get it for three seconds but then there's a 300 second cooldown, so you don't want to use this all the time. So with that being said, we are going to grab it. And that should definitely help us come in, I guess. A little bit better. Um, with that being said, we are going to continue on here. Let's check out some of the other perks we've gained, you can see. Let's go ahead and check out our publisher's clearinghouse. We're going to get right into the mission. That was seriously professional espionage work back there. My contact tells me nobody knew you were there until it was too late. And there isn't a single casualty. Actually, nobody knew I was there. <laughs> only They only knew someone was there because of you. So now you know me. I love blowing up terrorists. It's the American way, but shit, man. Restraint is a sign of a true operative. Every time a bunch of people die, even bad guys, questions get asked, authorities get called in. We spot some money in the legitimate government. I don't hand out praises very often, but that was a great mission. Well, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the clearing house and look at the intel for this next mission. Always the first thing I go to. So we've got a bonus objective for arms dealers mission. An anonymous black market source is offering intel on Nasri's weapon shipments. So we're going to go ahead and take this one. Uh, re let's see. Reduction of enemy strength on the arms dealer mission. An American private military may run... Sorting not far from Nazis, no clation, draw all out staff, leaving only the second rate guards on duty when you show up. Heck yeah. Um, mission map for arms and mission for small fees. Surveillance company will provide you with a detailed map. 
and intercept Shahid and recover missiles mission for a small fee. A surveillance company provides you with a detailed map of the airfield. Sure. Looks like we're going to have them all. Let's see. Still, we don't have really digital camouflage. Slightly reduces enemy sight range. That actually might be really cool. Improves ability cooldown rates. Definitely don't want that. Anything with sound dampening plus. Nothing with that, but still, digital camouflage. Using a variation of the camouflage, this treatment is effective at distorting the wearer's shape at long ranges. $28,000. That's a lot of money. I don't know. We are going to get into building, obviously, some better stuff. But only when we really need it. I wonder why that says sold out. We still have plenty enough. 62. Light pistol. I think eventually I want to get a better weapon. Something that gives us way more accuracy. But we're going to have to wait. Alright, so we're going to do this last mission here before we add anything else. And that's when the game will really open up. So we're going to stick, uh, we're going to stick with the night operations. It's still really good to use in any situation. All right. So with that being said, I think we're good to go. Gadget wise, I'm thinking to myself, what do I need? Should be good. As promised, we've been in Saudi Arabia for a little while, so I think Mike needs to change his beard up a little bit. And he is going to go with a full full beard or lumberjack? <laughs> We're going to go lumberjack. However, we are going to take away the hat. This should add some interesting gameplay. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go time. So you can see, I think we've already actually, have we already unlocked Intercept Shahid and Recover the Missiles? We've already, I guess, unlocked that one, but we're still going to intercept Nasri the Arms Dealer first. Um, as far as faction, we're still 20% complete, 21 can take a look at who we've now got uh, reputation is liked with Sean so that's pretty cool getting him up there we got a friendship with her this is the guy that we're are dealing with here versus how much would be gained by incarcerating him putting Nazi in prison would no doubt save many lives but the intelligence we gain about terrorist groups in the region by tracking his movements and his shipments is equally valuable. So here's the thing. Since we saved this mission for last, you're going to have to make a decision. I'm not sure what decision I'm going to make yet. I'm still debating it. But that being said, uh, there's a decision that we're going to have to make at the end of this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this. It looks like our handler is Westridge. By the book, minus 10% cooldown on our abilities. I've been tracked to a black market arms dealer. Lots of stealth in this mission. We have three intel items. So, Intel indicates a shipment of weapons at the location. While too heavy to pick up and lug back to your safe house, can be mailed to a place of your choosing. You hired a private military company to start a fight outside and draw away the best troops and leave the less capable reserves. You acquired a map of the mission site uh, that details security features. It's go time. Get in without a fire.
better fight that makes getting to Nasri that much easier. American. Nasri said nothing about an American. There's a lot Nasri doesn't tell you. You aren't American. In our trade, of course I am. What, you think I'm gonna shoot you all and carry your entire shipment out on my back? If you did, you would die. Exactly. Go on through. Nasri at the palace, waiting. Can't believe you bluffed those guards. All right, ladies and gents, looks like we made it in. I think it's so funny looking at him with this big beard. But here we go. Nazri's headquarters are in an old palace up the hill. That's your target. It has been quiet since the airliner. I would have expected more to have happened. The airliner was enough, and we have the Hellbeck missiles for that. Do not be too eager. I am still just so awful at that because of these controllers. But nonetheless, we're still good. Ooh, that was, uh... That was cool. We picked up a weapon mod. However, I think we already have this, right? Ooh, we've got the basic. So this one gives us one plus instability. Eh, at least it's something. I do want to look at the intel because we have a map that should tell us. Switch shipping labels. Mission objectives. Wow, you can see all the blue dots. I don't know what those are. <laughs> you are here. Points of interest. Oh, there's so many of them. Stealth path. Lots of things to figure out here, I guess. Alright, so clearly we need to be careful. Nice. Don't fail on me now, computer. <laughs> Look for alternate ways in. No need to risk a direct confrontation. I'll keep an eye out.
All right, so we're waiting for this guy here. Alright, so last thing we're going to wait for, it looks like this uh, bottom guy, once he turns around. Like I said, you don't have to take out every single enemy. I'm a firm believer in that. Right, good to go. Steel core rounds, we won't be using those because they're lethal. stairs. <clears throat> Alright, so we need to be very quick. Like a glove? Found a way into the palace. Good. Going to be hot in there. Careful, Mike. All right. <laughs> that gets me every time. collection. Wonder if any of it works. See if there's something you can use. So yeah, so there's a uh, mission in here that you can do. However, you'll cause an alarm. And we don't want to cause an alarm, so we're not going to do it. Sometimes you got to think smart, and that is the whole purpose of this walkthrough.
Nasri's got to be nearby. There's no other exits from the palace. Alright. This is definitely the most difficult part so far. A little frustrating, but we're gonna try to do our best. You have to take each one of these guys out silently and with a takedown. If you shoot one of them in the head, it doesn't matter. They will automatically fire, even if it's from behind the back. They just, they don't go down <laughs> without a fight, so... This is exactly what you have to do in order to actually complete this part completely stealthy. It's a little bit weird. We're going to be doing some things that you wouldn't normally do, but because of the abilities we have, we're able to do them. So I don't know why once you shoot these guys, they automatically fire. It's just the way it's programmed, I guess. Alright, so this one's going to be a little tricky. You're going to want to get out your shadow operative. Wait for him to turn. He is going to see you slightly, but it won't be an actual alert or anything like that. Actually, he didn't see me. Alright, he was supposed to see me, but he decided not to. So this changes things a little bit. Nothing ever goes according to plan, does it? Alright, so it's all about the way that their patterns are, so I have to totally rethink everything I was going to do because He's supposed to see me there, come over, use my shadow operative, take him down. But that's not going to be the case. We can't shadow this guy because of this guy hitting that way. So that actually still turned out in our favor, and we got every single one of them. Notice how none of them went into the red, which is the whole point. To make sure they're not alerted to your presence. They can figure out something's going on, but they don't know what it is. And that's it. So, I don't see anything else left. It is time to do this. I think I've decided which choice I'm going to make. And I think you guys should be familiar with the decisions that uh, this channel is used to doing, so here we go. Mike, have you spotted Nasri? He's right here. He's got nowhere to run. This should be quick. Give me a sec. You, who are you? See the gun? That's who I am. You do this? Why? I am businessman. Not attack anyone. Look, enough not... already. Tell me where the Halbeck missiles are, or I add you to the body count. The missiles? You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for Sold nothing. Sold to who? I take their cash, not their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men, eh? Mike, this is bad news. If he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me? That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack? Money, you... guns, yours, if you let me go. No, we're taking you into custody. The copter will be here to pick you up, and your munitions. What? Oh, look, I pay you. You not hear me, I, I say- I one say for I... delivery. On their way, Mike. Can't risk the consequences of letting him go. We can find the missiles some other way. Fair enough. Search the room. See what you can find. Alright, ladies and gents, there you go. I am happy with that decision, as you guys know who I am. And that's exactly what I would do, even though a lot of other people would say to probably let him go, take the money, extort him. Uh, but doing so just doesn't sit right with me, and that's the kind of gamer that I am. I feel like we should take him in, we can get information from him. However, there are repercussions for every decision that we make in this game, and that's why I truly love this game already. So let's take a look at those. The stolen Halback missiles were tracked to a black market arms dealer. Uh, he set up camp in an abandoned place outside Zaleem. Agent Thornton was dispatched to infiltrate. Agent Thornton, he successfully infiltrated the perimeter, got past the guards using only his persuasion skills. The guards eventually became aware of his presence, but by then, Agent Thornton was already deep in the compound. And they actually didn't even know that I was there at all, because there was never an alarm. Um, 
Let's see, once inside, I reached the palace where Nazi was stationed, found a way in, and encountered several large stockpiles of weapons in the region. Uh, the bonus objective was Agent Thornton found out information for trafficking with local so made cell in the region. Still examine. So we did that good. Agent Thornton discovered a crate of stolen weapons, successfully routed the shipment. Omar Mohammed bin Nazri was intercepted inside the palace. He surrendered almost immediately. The agents on the scene arrested him, dis disputing weapons traffic in the region. However, that hampers the intelligence gathering efforts in the region, but we only have one more mission left. So we'll see how that affects us. Um, also, the effect, which is a more positive, lowered munitions supply for terrorists in Saudi Arabia. With that information taken from the missions, the location has been discovered, and the final phase of Operation Desert Spear is active. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Actually, we didn't even have to fire a single pistol. So that is always a good thing. No alarms triggered, no orphans created, and only $15,000 of medical bills for the enemy. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the game, and of course, I will see you next time. Peace out, bitches.